Good day. Welcome to Demographic Research and Consultancy Company. I am Hinock, and we will talk on multinomial logistic regression. Multinomial logistic regression is used to explain the relationship between nominal dependent variable and one or more independent variables. In multinomial logistic regression, the nominal dependent variable must have three or more categories. It differs from binary logistic regression in that binary logistic regression has just dichotomous nominal variables, while multinomial has more than two, that is there are three or more. Example is the ethnicity. If it is a dependent variable, we know ethnicity has three categories here. Yeah? We have Yoruba, we have Arusa and Igbo. Also, the independent variables we have can come as continuous variable, it can come as ordinary variable, and it can be nominal variable. Mass nominal logistic regression is a straightforward extension of binary logistic regression. It adjusts the two categories in binary logistic regression is increased to have more. And uh, the independent the independent variable, the dependent variable is assumed that each of the categories there are independent of each other. For us to run uh, the independence of all those categories can be tested with uh, osman McFadden test. To run the practical uh, illustration of the multinomial logistic regression, we go to our SPSS application. Uh, the SPSS application, we check our dependent variable of interest. Our dependent variable must have three categories. It must have three categories. So we can uh, check them and see and be sure. For example, now, how do you acquire your formula, your pond? We can see the categories here. There are four categories, one by purchase, two by lease, three through communal method, and four through order. So this will be our dependent variable of interest, which has four categories, which is A12. So to run the multinomial logistic regression, we go to analyze. We click on analyze, then we go to regression. At the regression pane, we click on multinomial logistic. So when we click on multinomial logistic, we have the box like this in front of us. Here at the dependent box is where the multinomial dependent variable will be. That the dependent variable that has more than two categories. It has three or more categories and they are nominal in nature. The options are not of that. Then the factors will be where the independent variables that are categorical will be listed. And here are the covariates we have will be where the independent variable that are numeric in nature will be listed. So for our variable of interest for the category for the dependent variable is how do you acquire your farmland? So we put it here at the dependent variable pane. And the last variable, which is order, will be our reference category. Also, at the factors we can choose the categories that are the, you can choose the variables that are categorical and include them there one did you attend any formal education we can include it here we can also include the occupation here so for the covariates we can put the level of income which is numeric we can put the number of pounds which is numeric we can put the fish farming experience in yes, which is numeric. Then we go to our statistics here. Yeah. Then we make sure everything is as done as this. You can choose our goodness of fit and click on continue. Then we click on OK. Once we click on OK, we have our results here shown at the output. There are different types of tables there. Let we'll me speak on the important ones. First is the modeling fitting information. Model fitting information. You can see that it is significant here at 0 
then the chi square we can see that it is not significant at five percent level of significance since it is lower than 0 0.005 so it can be assumed that the variables do not fit perfectly for the information for the equation we just run also we have the likelihood uh ratio here for each of them to know which is significant we can see that a11 here is significant at five percent level of significance and a10 category is significant at five percent level of significance so we go here to check our our logistic table uh, multilinear logistic table so we have uh, the three categories as regards the reference category our reference category is order on how do how they acquire the farmland then the others are by purchase by lease and by common method so if we go to our variables one after the other these are the numeric variables which are the uh which is uh this is a 13 which is the level of income years of experience and the third also so we can see that yeah that only this a11 which is the years of experience is significant which is zero point or level of education which is significant at 0 0.028 so it's significant in relation to the uh, uh, reference category which is order so those who have have money have uh yeah, we check here the coefficient have 2.67 times higher likelihood to purchase their farmland as regards as uh, compared to others yeah so this is our uh, formal education yeah we can see those who have formal education have like 2.86 higher likelihood to purchase their land other than uh, as compared to others also for a year we can see that based on their uh, occupation too also for those that list it we can see that it, this is significant this is significant and those who have money have 3.5 times higher likelihood to list their farmland than others then also we can see here based on the reference category that that none of them is significant at five percent level of significance and uh, these people have uh, the same that those who are, they, they have there is likelihood for those who have years of experience to use communal farmland same as those as other type of farmlands too and uh, those who have uh, formal education have just about two percent higher likelihood or 0 0.8 percent we can see they have like eight percent uh, eight point four percent higher likelihood to use communal land rather than purchase and also here yeah, they are based on their based on their occupation so that is how multilinear logistic regression is being explained here shows the level of the likelihood of purchasing land as against using other form of uh, farmland so those one is the standard anything above one shows in numbers of times that they have higher likelihood of actually purchasing land as against other form of lands and also anything just like this means it is lower so it is lesser than one by 0 0.15 so they have 15 percent lesser likelihood of purchasing land rather than use other form of farmland and the level of significance is checked here thank you for more information on our classes you can contact us at www.dracoresearch.com also you can shoot us a mail at info at draco research you can follow us also at facebook and instagram at draco research thank you for listening draco